All-Star Strictly Finals with the Carolina Reapers Swing Band. You know what time it is. <laughs> Jamin here, make sure you subscribe below so you don't miss anything. Today, I'm gonna to be taking a look at one of my favorite competition formats. This format allows competitors to highlight how well they can choreograph and improvise in a shorter period of time. This is like an abbreviated uh, showcase performance, but with the raw energy of a jam circle. I can't wait to tell you guys who I think is the winner of this competition and why. But first, thank you to the Patreon supporters who support this channel and to all of you Street Smart Swing members. If you also want access to my entire school and personal coaching, check out the link in the description. But for now, it's time for me to be extremely judgmental. So let's get right into this.
cool. Big shout out to every competitor for demonstrating such a high level of care and respect for this art. The band was so on point tonight, guys, and I really appreciate how they, they started the dancers off with a mid-tempo beat instead of just jumping right into something fast. I think at this tempo, you can really appreciate the complexity of many of the dancers' ideas and in many cases, the faster tempo didn't serve some of the couples as well as the slower one did. Now, I first have to get into those little moments that I appreciate as a dancer and not just as a judge. The first one I really, really appreciated was this syncopated moment by Gustav and Laia. This little moment they used to get back into a closed position, followed up you know, by a traditional send out, it added such a rhythmic surprise and I did not see that moment coming. I know they both could, you know, improvise this during like a social dance, but since it was mirrored perfectly, I knew it was choreographed, but it didn't really matter because it felt so natural and perfect for the transition. Just super dope, guys. There was another cool moment by Andrew and Irina that happened so fast that you may have missed it. What I liked about this sequence is that it has the quality of choreography, but it was actually led. It's these kinds of social dancing ideas that I appreciate in this format, and not everybody can make social dance moments look as impressive as choreography. It's very difficult, but I really like that moment that they did. Another really cool social dance moment that I liked was when Hector and Sonia moved forward in closed position in a layered call response format. It takes a lot of discipline and technique to be able to move that way without hurting your partner. And I like how the sequence took up a whole lot of space and matched the music perfectly. <laughs> Guys, I've got to say, there was a really special moment by uh, Malik and Zainab that just demonstrated an intensity change that looked totally improvised and may have been. This little sequence was probably my favorite artistic moment in the slow section. Look how wild and unrestrained it looks, but yet ends in a way where you recognize it was intentionally choreographed. That is the kind of style I appreciate most, where it's wild, organized, but yet still very specific to them. Now, the couple who I felt who were the overall winners of this competition, this is just me, were Ramiro and Sophia. To me, they were the winners because both of their sets were structured in a way where I, I could see as an audience member and appreciate their personality first. I was able to see their technical ability second and their overall creative ingenuity third. Now, I'm really impressed by how tightly packaged the facet came across without feeling over-processed. And for me, the icing on the cake was how perfectly they nailed the aerial to the music. For me, this is what the Strictly Lindy format demands. And you know, you need to have a high level of technical execution, fresh ideas, and the ability to wow the audience. And overall, I feel like this couple demonstrated these qualities the best out of the entire group. Now, I can say this in full confidence, even though they were not my favorite couple in terms of style. That title goes to Malik and Zayna. Being impartial as a judge is important, even if the best presentation was not my personal favorite. And I hope we see more of this type of thinking. What did you guys think? Who was your favorite couple in this competition? Let me know in the comments section below. I'm so curious to hear what you think. If I don't see your comments below, hopefully I get a chance to see some of you in my class online. Take care.